This video will explain the use of high-pressure injection using Shimazu GCMS solution. Let me first explain why we need to use high-pressure injection or you might be familiar with the alternative name of pulsed injection instead if you are using a non-Shimazu instrument. Inside the injection port in a gas chromatograph, there is a glass insert installed. The glass insert has a fixed volume depending on the dimension of glass insert used. When liquid sample is introduced into the injection port, it will get vaporized inside the glass insert. Different solvents have different solvent expansion volumes, depending on the type of solvent, injection temperature, injection volume and column head pressure. Which mean how much vapor would be produced from that injection. When solvent vapor exceeds the volume of the glass insert, backflash will occur, solvent vapor containing the sample will overflow to the carrier gas line. The carrier gas line is not heated, so condensation will occur. When condensation occur, it means samples will stay in the carrier gas line as contaminant. In such a case, there is a need to increase the pressure such that solvent's vapor is suppressed and not overflowing to the carrier gas line. Before we create the method, we must check the solvent expansion volume of the solvent used to determine the pressure required. The Restec solvent expansion calculator can be used to assess the solvent expansion volume. You may choose solvent from the drop-down options with pre-filled density and molecular weight. If the solvent used is not available, for example acetonitrile, choose others in the drop-down, then input the density and molecular weight value accordingly. Fill the injection port temperature, head pressure and injection volume according to the method used. In this example, we use 250 degrees Celsius injection port temperature and 15.5 PSIG head pressure and 1 microliter injection volume. In the liner specifications, when using Shimazu split or splitless glass insert, input 95 mm length and 3.4 mm ID. This dimension is accurate for the SPL injector used in various GC models, such as the GC2014C, GC2010 Pro, and the Nexus GC2030. For more information, you can check with your local representatives. Press Inject to check if excessive backflash will occur when these conditions are used. Acetonitrile does not produce excessive backflash when the head pressure of 15.5 PSIG and 1 microliter injection volume using Shimazu's glass insert. Typical injection volume in GCMS liquid injection is 1 to 2 microliter. In order to increase sensitivity, here the volume is increased to 2 microliter. But excessive backflash occur because solvent vapor cloud is more than the glass insert volume. To eliminate backflash, head pressure has to be increased accordingly. At a higher head pressure, the vapor cloud of the solvent is smaller than the glass insert volume. Hence, backflash does not occur. In this case, when analysis such as residual pesticide analysis required higher sensitivity by increasing volume of injection to 2 microliter, head pressure must be increased accordingly. Once the head pressure has been determined, proceed to create the high pressure injection method using the real time analysis in GCMS solution. To set the high pressure injection, go to the SPL tab. As the pressure is changed, the total flow, column flow and velocity will also be changed as shown here. This is undesirable because retention times of analytes in an optimized method would change significantly if we increase the pressure. Thus, the high pressure injection function is effective to reduce the solvent expansion volume without changing much of the GCMS analytical condition. To enable high pressure injection, select Auto and specify the required pressure and the end time of the high pressure setting. Once the data acquisition has been completed, we may compare the chromatograms to check for the results. In this example, we compare the sensitivity of 1 microliter injection with normal pressure injection method and 2 microliter injection with high pressure injection method. The front eluding compounds are eluding faster in high pressure method compared to normal injection method. However, shape of the peaks is improved when injected using the high pressure injection method. For the later eluding compounds, retention times are similar. For more information, you can check with your local representatives. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.